Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back for another Fake Grand Order video. Today, they recently announced that the pre-campaign uh, for Saber Wars 2 is going to be starting up. So I figured now would be a good time to kind of look at currently all the banners that are being released right now. And tell you why I think you should not summon on them. Even though I think summoning on them isn't the worst thing in the world. So that's going to be today's video. And the reason is, is because Saber Wars 2 is almost here. And it's a good time, it's a good reminder, there's plenty of people out there who will gladly fall into temptation and summon, and I'm here to tell you, just wait, it's almost here. So that's going to be today's video, I hope you like it, if you do, you can leave a like, tell me how you've been doing saving up, or if you're just completely ignoring it and you're just going to bypass it to something else, feel free. I always feel bad for the people who are like, well, first of all, it's, this is a very rare case because the unit that in question coming with Saber Wars 2 is Space Star. So she kind of hits the sweet spot for everyone because it's a Rin um, servant. It's a Rin face. Uh, so you have all the fans of Rin who only care if a unit is Rin, such as Ishtar or Erish Cargill, or Erish, however you pronounce her name. I'm terrible at ancient um, Babylonian names. Um, but then you also have meta people too. So it's really a unit that benefits everyone except for like the small percentage of people who do not care for either. <laughs> Who either don't care how meta the person is, doesn't care about Saber Wars 2 as a concept, and doesn't care about Rin. It is such a huge dichotomy of things that happen for you to not care. But people like that exist. And I don't want you to feel bad about um, not being bad. But anyway, let's get into it. So first of all, we have the pre-release campaign, which is right here. Uh, the login is... Um, Three experience, three golden apples, and three slain quartz. Here are the limited units that will have super suck and great suck chance, as well as having their interludes and rank up quest um, be active for a bit, be half active, be half HP for a bit, which is going to be, which is very nice actually. Um, here's the summoning campaign, which features mysterious heroine X, um, and the CEs that were released with Saber Wars 1, which are the Crimson Land of Shadows, uh, Mikoto, hmm? Bride Training, and True Shot. Um, these two aren't great. They're better ignore evasion uh, CEs, even for 3 stars. Um, a 65% chance to heal only 750 HP ain't great. Um, for Crimson Land of Shadows, actually, this damage, which is uh, plus 100 for each turn, max 1,000, I believe the way that these CAs work is that it's not, uh, the damage is accumulative, so if you dealt 4,000 damage to a unit, it would be 5,000, and if you were going to deal um, 0 damage to a unit, it'd be 1,000. So for certain challenge quests where they don't have very high HP but they have huge defense, I believe an ability like this is actually pretty useful. But there are plenty of CEs like this, so it's not actually worth summoning itself, other than you, unless you like this art. Which is really great art, to be fair. Here's Mysterious Heroine X. I feel like most people who like Mysterious Heroine X probably go for the summer unit, because she's in a swimsuit. Um, but I always like this unit. I feel like not a lot of people like her, and the reason is, is that she was a little bit weak when she launched, because they didn't know what the hell they were doing with Quick Servants, they didn't know what they were doing with Assassins, and they certainly didn't know anything about what they were doing with Single Target, so they had to do a lot to kind of fix her up. But as you can see here, all three of her skills have been strengthened to some kind, like this ability right here, reduce all enemies' defense to three turns, five more chance to grant self-delayed buff for one turn, chance to stun all enemies after one turn, uh... All pretty nice stuff. Second skill, Star of Saber C+, gets invincibility and gets crit stars, which is 20, which is a respectable amount to get with invincibility. Uh, Galaxy Meteor Sword XEXA increases own crit star generation against Saber enemies for three turns, increases damage against Saber enemies for three turns, increases own attack for three turns. And the Saber star rate up is 100%, Saber damage is 50%, and attack up is 20%, which is not bad. Considering you have to look at the way, the way it used to be, which was just a straight up against Saber's buff. Like this skill previously was just 14 stars, which is absolute crap. Um, this skill only had the chance of 80% chance of stunning everyone as opposed to the, um, the now kind of the defense down buff. I mean, 80% is still not the greatest, but if you do live with what you were, with what you got, passive skill, which is riding EX, increases his own quick performance by 12%, which is nice, because again, she is a quick unit. Two quick cards and a quick noble phantasm. 
Um, and Cosmo Reactor A, which increases crit star generation by 10%. Uh, and this is her Noble Phantasm, which as you can see here, has also been buffed. And I believe not all of these buffs are active on NA at the moment. You're going to have to wait for some of them. Uh, but deals damage to one enemy and deals extra damage to Saber Face enemies. So she's anti-Saber Face, Assassin. So it can kind of be like, you can kind of see where the niche is. She's anti-Saber Face and she's also anti-Saber. But there's now plenty of Saber Faces who aren't on the Saber class. So she's not always going to be effective against all of them. So really this is just a unit that you would get because you love her and you love her style. Which to be fair, I think her style is very good. And I really like a lot of things about her. Like, look at that. It's great. And she gets... It's great. I love... I love Mysterious Heroine X. And it makes me sad to say that... <laughs> you should really skip her banner and wait for part one. The one thing that's a bummer is that she's not ever going to be one of those units that... At least not as of this video. <coughs> a unit who was going to appear on, like, a selector ticket for an SSR. If she was, it'd be easier to just say wait two years, but as of right now, it's probably not the best idea to summon for her unless you are a huge fan of Mysterious Heroine X, in which case I will grant you all the power in the world. I hope you get her. I will say that her banner will, I believe, should go into actual Saber Wars 2, because that was the same way it was in Japan, which we can look at right here. As you can see here, Saber Wars pre-campaign goes from October 26th to the 30th, but the banner is October 26th to November 13th. So for this, um, it's October 12th to the 17th. So I would bet that on the 17th is when Saber Wars 2 starts. Um, and then whenever Saber Wars 2 ends, that's the same end date for Saber Wars pre-release. So if you're someone who wants to have Mysterious Heroin X, but also wants Space Ishtar, I would suggest um, waiting until actual Saber Wars 2 comes out. Summoning for the unit with that has event seas and everything that you would want. Either you get her or you don't. And if you feel like you can have more luck on her, then you can throw a multi her way and see how it goes. But that's kind of my suggestion for this right here. Is to kind of just wait a bit. Uh, unless, again, you 100% just do not care about this unit in any capacity at all. Um, it's going to be a small percentage of you, and I'm going to guess a small percentage of you that hates her, which chances are also not like her, but whatever. There has to be that 1% of people out there who exist. There just has to be. And next, the other thing that's uh, here. Um, the Go Craft Essence Ec Recollection uh, campaign. Uh, two summoning campaigns which are just filled with limited CEs. Um, now the funny thing is, is that there's actually a lot of decent CEs across both um, banners that I actually wouldn't mind getting, because these are also the only CEs that appear on the banner itself. Um, the problem is, is that there's just like no chance that you would pull the exact one you want. Like for example, I would want the Miyu CE and I would want the, the Little Devil CE, I believe it's called the Halloween Petite Devil, there you go. Um, there's a lot of like ones I would look at and go like, oh yeah, I would like that one. But it's like pick and choose. And with this banner, there's no real pick and choose that you can do. Like, oh yeah, I would love to get trigger treatment. Even though I, I actually don't need trigger treatment, but if I was someone who badly wanted trigger treatment, there it is. Um, so it's really only for there here for people who badly just want to collect CEs. And believe me, there are people who just are out there to collect CEs. I like collecting CEs for the art. Um, I really like the art, and a lot of times I will summon more to complete a CE before anything else. Uh, you should not do that, by the way. Uh, it's not the smartest way to play, but it's the way I decide to play. So either, And my luck is good enough so I can deal with that, and maybe not everyone is built that way, so it's something to keep in mind for sure. But this banner is pretty easy to skip. Even if you're someone who really wants these CEs, it's like, it's so hard to get them. It's so hard to get specifics on them. It, it's a shame that they don't do a rotation of like rate up specific CEs, because I feel like it'd be better. Um, but they probably don't want to do that because these are again the only CEs that are on the banner. But yeah, so kind of easy thing to skip for most people. But if you're someone who's like tempted, I would say you gotta hold off. But this also ends on October 24th. It says so. There's actually plenty of time for you just not to summon and wait to see how your summons in Saber Wars 2 go. So in a lot of cases, I'm saying it's smarter, even if you want to summon on both of these coming up um, banners, uh, coming up banners. This one's currently released now. I would still say it's best to just wait for Saber Wars 2. Um, you're just this close already. 
And this unit, is, I'm going to get into it later when I, uh, Saber Wars 2 is officially announced and I can go over her for realsies. But she really is just amazing in so many ways. And also, because of this one skill, this one skill should be enough for me to say anything. Look, select own Noble Phantom command card between these types. Quick, Arts, Buster. She is effectively good for every single class. And because it lasts three turns and she's AoE, that means she's also effective for farming. Um, but also she deals enough damage that she can probably do stuff on her own. Uh, this unit is, is insane, and there's not a lot of units built like this where it feels like they don't really need a buff. As you can see here, I can quickly go through it. Never received a buff one time. Um, never. Not once. Not once has she ever received a buff. And also, the she does increase damage with her extra attack, which is pretty funny. But as you can see here, yeah. I'll get into it later, but <laughs> she'll get her due later on. But this is just me doing a friendly reminder, like, hey, don't summon. If you're someone who's easily tempted or you're new to the game, I would suggest not summoning. If you're someone who's like, well, I kind of technically want to do this for this, I would still say probably wait to see if you want to get Space Ishtar. I've definitely done this before where I always feel bad when I don't have anything saved. Um, and I feel like summoning on the new uh, summon banner just to join in with everyone, pulling like crazy and having fun. It's a hell of a thing. Gotchas are a fucking tor terrible thing that that is a terrible thing that does to a person. Is what I'm trying to say here. But yeah, I, I hopefully this works out. If they're gonna do a pre-campaign, I may as well do my pre-warning now and say, hey, hold on, you're so close to the finish line, man. You were so close. We're so close to having Saber Wars two here, and then. The rest of this year either becomes much harder or much easier depending on what kind of person you are because it only gets rougher from here. That's the end of today's video for now. Thank you very much if you made it all the way to the, to the end, by the way. I appreciate it a whole bunch. It helps out the channel. If you want to help me out even more, you can leave a like. Um, you can feel the comment, but to be honest, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. Don't worry about it. And you can sub to me if you want some more stuff. That also helps out, but as I said previously, don't worry about it too much. Um, even though I do appreciate you doing it. So until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. Keep on saving. Or maybe don't. I don't know how you live your life. Good luck living your life out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.